Good morning, everyone. Hello. Um, I wonder what Christmas films you've been watching over the past couple of weeks. One of the ones that we watch almost every year as a family uh, is The Nativity. Now, I'm not going to say it's the best Christmas film, uh, but it's pretty good. And it's about two primary schools and the nativity plays that they put on. Uh, and really, the bad guy in these films is a guy called Mr. Shakespeare. Now, he's the headmaster of a local private school. And his nativity play, in order to sort of get the public's attention, I think, sort of focuses on Herod and his massacre of the boys. Um, and you can imagine, can't you? Or, or if you've seen the film, you know just how dreadful this nativity play ends up being. Uh, and it's quite entertaining to watch in the film, um, only because, well, Herod is not the main character in the Christmas story, is he? Uh, in fact, we don't really know much about Herod. Uh, Matthew is really the only gospel that tells us anything about him. But we know from Matthew chapter 2 that magi or wise men travel from the east. They follow a star uh, to come and worship this new baby king. And you can imagine when they get to Herod, can't you sort of the jealousy that Herod has? Uh, because he discovers something in that moment that I think sometimes we often forget. Herod learned that, well, if this baby Jesus is king, then he is not. And I wonder, who is the king of your life today? Who is the ruler, the master of your life? The line of the carol that I've chosen for today is taken from O Holy Night, which says, He knows our need, and to our weakness he is no stranger. Behold your king. You see, if only Herod paid more attention to the religious leaders when he, he called them in and he asked them, what is this baby going to be like? Who is this king going to be? Where is he going to be born? And they quote from the prophet Micah, Micah chapter 5, verse 2, which says that out of Bethlehem will come a ruler for my people who will shepherd my people. You see, Jesus came as a king, yes, but he came as a shepherd, one to, bur one to bear our burdens, to shoulder our sufferings, and ultimately to take our sins upon himself and to die upon a cross. Herod thought that Jesus came for his throne. Well, Almost 30 years later, Jesus would stand before Pilate and say, my kingdom is not of this world. But rather, Jesus would face a group of suffering, doubting sinners, to his disciples and say, I am the good shepherd and I lay down my life for the sheep. Jesus came to be our shepherd. And I wonder, do we recognise him as our shepherd king today? Have a great day and have a very Merry Christmas.